Outrocast. The tempo was like tied to the 90s, which is a song that we, we have on our first album. Right. A little bit more like... Duh, 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 duh. And it just up felt... Tempo come from the first record, sure. Yeah, and it just felt a little bit... It didn't feel right in that tempo, this up tempo. So I was like, let's just play it like we're playing it in slow motion. So we just knocked the tempo down really a lot. And then it, suddenly it was like, oh, this is really amazing. It sounded totally different. And so, you know, it's the same way with them. Um, if you played Selfish Gene in a slower tempo, even a couple of clicks slower, it would not, it wouldn't feel the same. So you, right. you, you just, you get it into the sweet spot and it almost the song tells you, right? This is perfect because you can say the words in the right time. You're not rushing or you're not slurring. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, 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 yeah, good question though. Well, I, you know, sometimes you want your your interviewers to know the catalog, and on times you want to, them to go like, oh, "Tell me about the new record." So <laughs> I'll transition that to the new record. When you have an album called Ten Songs," was that like a working title, or did it actually? Oh, I'm already getting a no. So you knew outright it was called 10 songs? Yeah, we, we um, you know, I had a, I, I was looking at my, on my, I, my, my iPad last night. Um, at all of, when I was in the studio, I was going through titles. We had, in, in February and March this year, we were doing our second session and finishing off the, the recording and mixing. And then while I was in the studio, I was thinking about the titles. Like, what am I going to call this? <clears throat> One of them was um what was it again um can i just check let me just check yeah sure man Hold We're on. Live. I'll, i'm just <laughs> no. gonna you, you you'll you'll not see me for a second because i'm just going on to procreate which is my my thing of choice my god you want to see how much how many drawings and things are on this for this record it's insane right Hold on. hey creative guy doing creative things <laughs> Um, let's see, uh, where is it? There we go. C T R L plus W. Okay. That was one of the, that was one of the, 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 the names of the, I've got one, le one, one life left was another, uh -huh. one life left was another working title for this album. Um, and there was lots of different artwork as well. Hold on. Let me come back to you. I can't get, I can't get out of this. Help. Well, where so, I was yeah. with with that is uh, knowing what I know for music business work. A lot of people have a publishing deal. Their thing is, well, you have to turn in ten songs, or else you don't get the advance. I didn't know because you've always had a great sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Across in concert, I didn't know if that was a well. Oh, 10 no, songs no, no. Advance. no, 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 no. It was really, it was really like I was going through these different titles. Like one life left was in CTRLW, which is like closing a window, you know. This idea of because it felt to me this this album feels like the, the end of uh, many things and the beginning of new things, and um, I but it just all felt a little bit arch, and I just felt like, and then I, I had the track listing always looking at the names of the songs and um we kept calling it not kept calling it 10 songs but i referring to it as 10 songs um when we were talking about on oh, this you know this one out of the 10 songs and it sounded cool you know and we have another album called 12 memories yes so it chimed it chimed in a little bit with those kind of titles or that that title and um but i think the most important thing about this title is I don't think people are, you know, you, there there are people writing songs still, um, but not many of us. And um, when I say a song, I mean something that's that, that goes a little bit beyond a, a jingle, that goes right. a little bit beyond uh, just entertainment. There's something a little bit deeper there that speaks to you um, about your life or the truth or whatever. And so I think to write a song in this, time and when there's not much going on song wise it's kind of cool you know it's kind of um punk <laughs> to, to, for want of a better term and um, who'd have thought that writing a simple song could be punk but it, it sort of is nowadays because no one's doing it and no one's doing it because it's fucking hard <laughs> it is 
I'm, 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 you know, listen, I listen, to, I listen to music a lot and there's, there's, there's not many brilliant melodies at the moment that inspire me. I have to sit and try and think of, think, think of my own and, um, but yeah, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is one of those years where it'd be really hard to do a top 10 list because you have to kind of think of, are there 10 albums that I really like to listen to all the way through? Now, if I were doing that or a top five, obviously your album goes on there. So take the damn compliment. Thank but something you. I'm curious about is a lot of bands kind of have their, their peaks and their valleys where they go, I don't know, we kind of, maybe we should break up, maybe we should change directions. But when you listen to the Travis albums, it doesn't seem like you guys ever got bad. You ever started using outside co-writers. You ever had to go, well, here's our EDM track. You didn't do that. It, it, was there a period, though, where it was like, is this the end of Travis? Yeah, definitely. We, we had a bit of a period like that. Um, when was it? I think it wasn't a feeling. It got to that feeling. It started out like we all just had a break. Like we all went off to be dads. And this was between Ode to Jay Smith and um, um, Where You Stand. Mm -hmm. And um, in that time, I did, I had, I had written a, a record almost like it was going to be a Travis record, but we all went on a break. So I did my solo thing, which was okay. It's really nice, good songs and yeah. um, a, a nice experience. But, you know, I'm in a band. So, um, but there was a point, you know, towards, uh, like year three of being out of the band and not touring and not doing anything that it felt, oh God, is this it? You know, are we, are we done? Are we, are we actually going to go back and do this? And, um, and we did. And it was, it was a kind of, we got a call to do a show. That was the reason we got back together. Uh, there was a show somewhere and um, we met and every, everyone was great. It was as if we'd seen each other two days earlier and, um, and it was fine. It's always difficult being in any kind of close quarters with <laughs> you know, other other people. Of course. And um, but we've really weathered the storms really well. We've respected each other's kind of need to just chill and and not see anyone else, you know, in the band, and um, which is really important. We've also. We're also Scottish, so we, we, we're kind of sensible. We have our feet on the ground. And we always kept our feet on the ground. So um, we know what's important. We have a good sense of priorities. And um, I think, you know, to be in a band is one of the most amazing um, um, jobs you can you can have. Um, there's definitely a lot of waiting around. But, um, <laughs> but like, yeah. But the... the, the to, to to do that job is is like a complete, it's a trip, you know. No one no one gets to do that. So I we we're all pretty and and um, we're not it's not lost on us, you know. So we we've we've kept it, we've looked after it, and that's why we're still together. There's that gratitude. Well, you got time for three quick questions, and then you're a free man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, okay. Sure. The first question: If you are a big sports fan here in New York, you hear a lot about Fran Healy, but that's not. <laughs> The six of Frank Healy from Travis. Do any yeah. of you and that Frank Healy exist? Say that I missed. I missed. I missed that. I missed that last part. So Do any to... photos of you and that other Frank Healy exist? Have you ever met? Oh, <laughs> there's the baseball card. Right. There's a picture of me in the front. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've been asked that all the time, but uh, you know, growing up, you'd hear, and now going to Fran Healy, and you're like, "What? He's on TV in New York? Okay." Uh, you know, it's funny because I like um it's really weird because he is like a big fucking deal in, in baseball. Um and he's quite a he's quite a um polarizing figure. Sure. It seems. And so when when you know when MySpace was starting and, and before we had before Facebook, before Twitter and all that, we had MySpace. And I would get these <laughs> disgruntled um <laughs> I would get these people like these uh, crazy baseball people going, You motherfucker <laughs> And I'm like, who the hell is this Fran Healy? But the weird thing is like we lived in New York for a little while. We had an apartment there for twelve years, fourteen years actually. And um I think he lived really nearby because I looked us up 
I looked him up in, in the telephone directory. He was there. He's like two blocks from me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't get any of his hate mail to your physical address in Soho. Yeah, that would have been uncomfortable. There you go. And the closer, Fran, uh, any last words for the kids? I am, uh, I would say, you know, it's been a fucking, can I swear? Yeah, you can. Most people can. It's been a fucking hard year for everyone. I know people who have lost their mums and dads to this thing, this um, um, pandemic. And, um, and there's not, you know, until that sort of happened, I was quite, eh. And I still am a little bit because, you know, you just have to, it's a British thing, you know, you, you, you just have to laugh, you just have to smile through it. Um, but I think we're coming, I, th I think we all begin to see a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm very, um, I'm not an anti-vaxxer person, but I'm very anti-corporate America person. And I find a lot of, you know, the big pharmaceutical people to be suspect. Not the science, just the people who run those businesses. Sure. But I'm very, very hopeful about the the um, the Pfizer, you know, the the um, um, mRNA vaccine. Yeah. This is like, it's like futuristic science that they're doing. It's it's not like the the, the old way they used to do it. Um, they're doing new things, and I think not only is it exciting for COVID. Like for instance, my doctor um, in in Los Angeles, he. He's had it. He got to the two in August and September, and he's fine. He's doing, he's fine. Um, he has a sore arm when he got it done, but like that's to be expected. And he, uh, but to me, right now, I think it's pretty exciting. Not just for COVID, but for all these kind of viruses that are flying around now. Um, they have this new technology which is going to make it. Um, which is going to help us fight all these things and old things as well. So I'm, I'm kind of hopeful. I really want to get back on the road. All of us, all of the bands, um, every band. Yeah. I mean, you've got like, I was talking to someone the other day about the strokes and they, they brought their album out right on the, right on the pandemic. And they, yeah. they, we, all the bands I know, we've all had to cancel everything. A reschedule and or just take you know that away and it's it's a big part of a record so I really hope and the mad thing is we haven't toured in America for years and we were planning on coming and then this happened so yeah but but I'm looking forward to coming back a long answer to a short question but I'm, <laughs> you know it's been a long year <laughs> a great answer to a question that's been asked a lot so i really appreciate your time and when things get normal looking forward to seeing you live in new york again and oh, just keep up the great music it's really it's great to see that somebody could still be great 20-ish years after they make an impact thanks a lot i'm gonna try <laughs> thanks friend have a great rest of the day you too see you later take care bye Outro cast. <laughs>